In Dredge, while the main mission is pretty straightforward, uh, in collecting artifacts that is, there are a couple of side missions that can be picked up throughout the game. They give a bit more context and story to this world, which is super interesting by the way, but are totally missable if you're not really paying that much attention. And so, this is going to be a video guide of some of those side pursuits in the game Dredge for some of the more interesting characters that you might encounter along the way. Starting things off on a bit of a happier note, the first pursuit I'm going to be covering is the Lost Dog Pursuit. Found in the Stellar Basin at around G2, you'll hear a faint barking, and well, just head on over and interact with the dog. Now you're gonna to wanna to talk to the dog in this order. You can just kinda of stumble through it. I stumbled through it and it worked perfectly, but you're gonna first throw some fish, then slowly approach. Next up, call for the dog, hold out some fish in your hand, pat the dog, pat the dog again, and then you're just gonna leave. When you leave, the dog is just gonna follow you, and then you're gonna have a nice little passenger in your boat. Worth mentioning, you gotta be a little bit careful because if you do take some damage, it is possible that you might drop the dog overboard and then that just kind of ends the pursuit right there, which is pretty sad. You're gonna have the opportunity to keep the dog on your boat, but if you really do wanna find a suitable home for it, then make your way over to the researcher in the old fortress. Once you talk to her, you'll have the option to give it to her and the picture of her will change, now featuring the little dog just beside that researcher. Plus, you do get a little trinket for your troubles, which you can sell to the trader just to get a little bit of extra cash. Okay, next up is the dock worker, which actually there are two different pursuits here. The first one you're gonna find extremely early on in the game, and it is the package delivery pursuit. It will activate as soon as you talk to the mayor of Little Marrow, and he's gonna ask you to bring a package to the dock worker just on the other side of the Little Marrow. Package is kind of sus, uh, some black fluid is leaking out of it, but if you oblige, then you will get the sustainable fishing book from the dock worker, completing that pursuit. Now, a little bit later on in the game, there is a second pursuit involving delivering a package to the dock worker once again. This one can be picked up from a ship with a little bit of a scared captain at its helm stuck out towards the Devil's Spine. It's around I-10, but essentially, just talk to him. He'll tell you about hearing whispers from the package, which is always a good sign, and you can deliver it to the dock worker as well. When you do take the package from the courier, he will give you the book called Getting Over It with Body and Mind. I feel like I could use that book in real life. But the dock worker will suspiciously take the package very quickly and then disappear with it for a while. After a couple of days, if you come back, you can see the dock worker again, but he's not going to be looking too hot. The ongoing theory here is that the two packages had corrupted fish inside of them, makes sense with all that black ooze leaking out, and similar to the fishmonger earlier in the game, uh, he ate both of these fish. However, fishmonger, he only ate one of them. But with the dock worker eating both, he becomes a shell of his old self, staring off into the water frozen in fear, and now he's using a little bit of black ooze out of his own body. Next up, we do have the stone tablets pursuit, which can be activated by finding a stone tablet within the devil's spine. Uh, for any of these tablets, you'll find them floating in the water with a little bit of light over them. And when you fish the first one out, the fisherman will immediately mention that he saw the trader have something similar just behind him. If you take it back to the trader, he will tell you that there's going to be three in total and that you should go out and find the other two. So just take a look at this wonderful, lovely map that I've got right here and make sure to go out to all of those different locations to be able to pick up all three of the stone tablets. Once you've got all three stone tablets, head back to the trader and he's going to combine the tablets together to make this big master tablet and decipher a message saying, When the sky mistakes the stars and the air grows thick at night, the deep will open its scars. Protect us, O guiding light. Trader, he's gonna be a little bit confused, but now that you've got the fused tablet in hand, head on up to the old lighthouse at 015, and then bring the tablet to be able to open up the door at the top of the lighthouse. When you do this, you'll get the brightest light in the game, the flame of the sky, as well as some other cool trinkets for your troubles. All right, and last but not least, not technically a pursuit, but the dog tags are still something that I wanted to mention just because you do get a couple of extra upgrade parts, and this is just very easily missable as well. In Twisted Strand, when you do find the airman, he will have a bit of additional dialogue asking you to find dog tags of his buddies, which have been scattered all around just because of those ugly vine sucker things that kind of suck. There are three dog tags in total. I've got them on screen on this map, so just head over to each of them and fish them out of the sea. Some of them, you don't even need to fish. You can just interact with the airplane and you're gonna be able to pick them up. Also important worth mentioning, don't give them to the trader. Technically, you can sell them as trinkets, but it's more worth it just to get the upgrade parts and also too, to get the additional dialogue from the airman. Now, when you fished out all three of them, just return to the airman and he's gonna hang them up on the tree and we'll tell you that this is all of his comrades and that is gonna be the end of that little side mission. Not technically a pursuit, but kind of a pursuit. And that wraps up some of these more character-driven side pursuits. 
There are a couple more out there, but in general, you're probably gonna stumble across these just by playing through the game. There's like, you gotta like build a house, you rescue a stowaway and just a couple of others. But once again, you, you probably found them on your own. I know that I found them on my own without missing them like twice. I beat this game a couple of times now. So let me know down below if you would eat a corrupted fish or not. And well, I'm probably gonna judge you if you say yes on this one. But that's it for this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.